everybody, Rich Stitzel here, coming to you from DrumMantra.com. Thank you for tuning in to this new series, Rhythmic Foundation Theory. We're in part two this week, and basically we're going to take what we talked about last week and just put it on the snare drum, for, for starters. Um, very simple concept, we're just going to play a subdivision and move the accent across that subdivision field. So the first set of subdivisions is 16th notes, very common subdivision, 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're just going to play accents on the downbeats, 1E and a, 2E and a, 3E and a, 4E and a, the entire 16 measures of this first exercise. But what, what's going to happen is you're going to hear the click shift to the next subdivision, shift to the next subdivision. So you'll hear the click for four measures on the downbeat, and then the next four measures, the click will move to the E's, the second grouping of the 16th notes, second note of the 16th. And then after four measures, it'll go to the ands, which is the third note of the subdivision. And then finally, the final four measures will go to the uh, or the fourth piece of that subdivision. Okay, so just snare drum, 16th notes, 1E e and a 2E e and the accents on all downbeats. Here we go. Okay, great. So that was a pretty simple concept, pretty simple physically, because we're just playing accents. Nothing changes with us, just what we're hearing going on. So now we are going to change the accents ourselves, and the click will stay the same. The click will. going to always be on the E. So I'll count it off. One, two, three, four. The click is immediately going to be on the E's. It's going to stay on the E's the whole time. But we're going to do the exercise four measures of the downbeat with the right with the accents, four measures with the E's. So now your click is happening with your left hand. Four measures of the and, so you're back to your right hand and then four measures of the us back to the left hand, but the click is always going to be on the E's this time. It gets a little trickier, but really try to merge and, and, and experience how this click is related to what you're doing and 
how that feels. Okay, here we go. Okay, great. Now the next one is just simply shifting the click over one more sixteenth note to the ands. So now it'll be ready, go, click, 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 click. So the click is always going to be the ands. Same process of four measures per accent. Down beats, ease, ands, us. Okay, here we go. Okay, the fourth one is moving the click just one more down to the final piece of the 16th note subdivisions, the uhs, the, the last part of it. So same thing, four measures of each accent moving across the measure, and the clicks will all be on the uhs. Ready? Here we go. And finally, just for fun, now we're going to do the same pattern with our sticking, downbeats, E's, ands, us, four measures each, but the click is also going to move with our accent. So every time we shift accents, the click is going to shift its accent as well. So the idea here is to kind of play with what that feels like to hear a pulse happening with your accent, but knowing that that's not actually the downbeat. So what we're trying to do is kind of gain this relationship with the downbeat pulse and also gain a relationship with having a main pulse that's not actually in the downbeat area. All right, here we go.
Okay, great. We got through all of those. Now, I wanted to make sure that we got the solid foundation on the snare drum first. The accents and the snare drum, it's very important to have that feeling of how the hands move and what the accents do when they move from different parts of the beat. They move across from right hand leads to left hand leads. Very important. We will move this onto the drum set in the upcoming weeks. It will become uh, voicing these concepts on the drum set and also increasing the coordination, which means uh, bringing in more limbs to do more aspects of, of this. Okay, I am also going to uh, create a click track for you that will be downloadable on the drummantra.com website. So if you subscribe to the newsletter at drummantra.com, not only will you get a password to have access to the PDFs, but you will also have access to a downloadable MP3 of a click track that does these different permutations so you can practice along. Okay, awesome. And you can ask questions, make comments. I'd be happy to respond to any of that. Thank you so much. Have a great week of practicing, and I'll see you next week.